Hi everybody, Angie here. Coming on to do um, the current um, card make from hashtag full deck challenge two, hosted here on YouTube by Shana uh, Shin on Shinuki Arts. Um, she posted the prompts for this um, particular card. We are on card number 15. Here's what we've got done so far, quite a few. Fun little project every couple weeks. So I've got my card, and the prompts for this week, we're going to get right into this, are animal, washi tape, bright, I guess whatever that means to you, bright, and sentiment. She chose a bright, um, colorful palette with some spray inks, so um, I chose, the only one I had was this spiced marmalade, and you'll see when I spray it on if you're not familiar. It's a pretty bright color, so I'm going to use that for my bright. Sentiment, I have this Tim Holtz um word pad here so I'll pull something out of there for my sentiment washi tape I just grabbed a few whatever was on top um, so we'll use one or all of those and then for animal I chose um, this cute little rabbit this is from a children's storybook oh, you guys can see you may remember the storybook um, I think his name is Fred and Frida or something like that. I think it's Fred and Frida. I can't remember for sure, but I thought they were adorable and I couldn't use one without the other because they're the couple. So I thought I'd use those two little fussy cut rabbits out for my animal. Okay, so let's get right into this. And I grabbed, um, this was just a fussy cut vine piece out of a storybook as well. I thought maybe just for some extra color, maybe I could use that. Okay, so let's get going. Let me pull my hair out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Gets in my eyes sometimes and okay. So how is everybody? Everybody good? Everybody doing well? Hope everybody's in good spirits, having fun, getting some time in their rooms, their craft rooms and getting some pretty um, crafting done. So let's see, I did bring in this piece of paper. Normally I will use some type of a paper, just kind of a base to get started with and I'll use like tissue paper or something, but I don't have any tissue paper. I have colored tissue paper, but I've ran, let myself run out of white tissue paper, and I pinched myself for that mistake. <laughs> so I have this piece of um, packing paper, so I thought I would use that, and let's get into this. I'm just trying to think as I'm talking how, where I want to go with this. I grabbed a little bit of glue, and this is just regular old um, Elmer's glue that's just been watered down a bit, and I think I better put something under this. Um, I think I have something close by. Let me grab something. And all I have close at hand is a piece of copy paper. I just grabbed it out of my printer. I had some wax paper, a whole bunch of it. I don't know where I must have tucked it away somewhere. I don't want to keep you guys waiting while I search for it. Okay, so let's do what we can do here. So I'm just going to, it looks like I got some paint on the tip of that brush, but it's okay. And we're just going to get this baby down. I'm going to crunch this up. And I'm just going to kind of put it down kind of haphazardly, get some crinkles in there and some creases. And, and I do like a bit of the card to show, so let me kind of tear that away now before it dries. I guess we need some more glue, don't we? Creases in there, Have something for texture. Okay, I'll clip this away and then we'll press it down really well. Okay. 
So I don't know if you're, for those that are watching, may not may or may not be familiar with this particular challenge. It is an open challenge for anyone that wants to participate. All you need to do is use hashtag full deck challenge two, and it's hosted by Shinooki Arts here on YouTube. And she posts a prompt about, I guess about every two weeks. We get a couple cards done a month. I think it's kind of random, but um, it's a very quick and fun make, kind of just a carefree, no worries, kind of a kind of a project, so always fun. And yeah. Okay, so I've got that. And even though I've got creases, I definitely want to make sure I've got my edges down. Glued down well. So let me just tuck a little bit more glue into those edges. And since we've got this fold there, we'll tuck a little glue into those spots as well. Give those a little press. Okay, I think that should do it. Um, then, let's see. So that's our base. I was thinking to use this stencil, kind of like maybe on one of the corners here. Make sure that glue is somewhat dry. I brought my heating tool. I'm gonna hit this with my heating tool real quick so it will get noisy here for about 30 seconds, okay? Excuse me for a quick sec. enough it's not completely dry but just dry enough for we can so we can work with it you know okay just give those creases a little press I like that all right so I'm just going to use some vintage photo and I'm just going to put a little bit of this stencil right up here in the corner right along the edge try and line it up Pretty. I don't know if maybe I should do this other side. I think I will. I'll move that because that is rocking back and forth and making a clicking noise. Okay, let's do this corner as well. Oh yeah, okay. This is like one of my go-to stencils, I'll tell you. It, I don't think it ever leaves the, the top of my desk because I'm always grabbing it and using it. Okay, so let's do a little around the edges as well. I was just saying it's just a fun quick little easy make so if it's something that interests you I'm sure she'd be glad to have you join in on the challenge I love um, watching everybody's different takes and makes with the prop with the prompts that are provided okay um, I've got to do some washi tape oops got a little glue on his foot oh yeah looks like they're maybe in a orchard or something or out in a field somewhere and then if we put, yeah, let's see. Let's see what color I want to use here. And I wasn't sure whether I should use the wide or the thin, so I grabbed both. 
except this one has a little hint of kind of like a pink shimmer, which I thought maybe might look nice. Oh, that just broke off. Let's see. Well, you know what? I think it's going to be hard to tell until we put our bright. This is what I'm choosing for bright. And give this a little shake. Excuse the noise. That's just the ball inside mixing it up. Okay. Let me move everything out of the way because this kind of splatter is kind of wide. And. There we go. See, that's bright, huh? I like that. I don't get it. Yes, that is definitely bright. And it would even be brighter if I wouldn't have put the vintage photo underneath. It would really even be standing out that much more. So I'm just going to give it a little swab there and pick up all the excess. Okay. And then I'm going to heat it with my... Hit it with my heat tool again real quick. 10 seconds, guys, excuse me. Okay. Awesome. Turn that over. Do like this for you guys so it won't take away visually for you. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Um... I think I do want to use this, and I think I'm going to go with this color. Now that I've got that, I think that will kind of clash because that's kind of a pink, kind of a rose tone. Yeah, I think that'll kind of clash. But I think this kind of will stay in the family of colors, so to speak. And this is washi tape, so I better use a little bit of adhesive. I'll just use this glue here since I've got it open. And we'll just run a dab of it right on there. Okay, so that's my washi tape, and then the animal, and I'm not going to ink or anything around them. I want them to be able to stand out on the card. And then I think I'm going to add this little bit of this vine here. Yeah. I want to put some back this way. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think I do just a little. Just over the edge a little bit. I still want to be able to see the washi tape. It's going to take a second to catch on that because, you know, tape, it's got that slick top. But yeah, once that glue catches on, it'll stay. Yeah. Trim this down. And I don't 
don't mind it hanging over on this side. I think I'll leave that. I kind of like that. Okay. And then we've got our, I'm going to use our glitter glue for this one. Yeah, I think it's Frida and Fred are their names. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. If you guys know for sure, you may want to let me know, but I think it's Frida and Fred. And get that glue off of this brush here. And I think I'm going to bring in a little bit more vintage photo. Standing on something there. Okay, and then a sentiment. Let's see what we can find for that. As a matter of fact, I like that one. The way he has his hands on his suspenders there, it's like he's in middle of conversation and he's just making a point. And he says, as a matter of fact, and on he goes with his conversation. Very cute. Okay, that was easy. See how easy and quick that was, guys? All right, I think I'm going to call that one done. I need my hole punch here. And I just grabbed one of the previous ones and line up the holes. Okay, and then it's ready for my ring. Okay, guys, that is my make for card number 15. Okay, so if you want to show support, please use put in hashtag full deck challenge number two if you want to participate and watch every all the other makers that are participating in this challenge. I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button, leave me a like or a comment or all the above. Um, and until next time, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope you liked the little card today with Fred and Frida, and I will see you soon. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.